so recently an official Jurassic World Dominion photograph was put out. And this really is the first later look at the film. We of course saw the first five minutes, but outside of those scenes the movie is relatively unknown. But what this image shows us is a brand new dinosaur. Claire Deering is in the swamp, and the new massive dinosaur is in the background. Now, due to the three massive claws in this picture, it does point us towards the Therizinosaurus. This is a dinosaur we have talked about in the Jurassic World series for quite some time. A lot of us wanted to see this dinosaur in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but that of course wasn't the case. And a lot of fans are probably wondering about the sequence. Even though the Therizinosaurus looks like a carnivore, this dinosaur is a herbivore. So with that being said, why would this dinosaur attack Claire? Well, as we also know, the Therizinosaurus is very territorial. Within its habitat, it was coexisting with very powerful carnivores like the Tarbosaurus. So in a sense, this is kind of instinctual. If there is a threat in this dinosaur's territory, it will attack. So although this is a herbivore, it is still very aggressive. In that sense, it is similar to the Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus. These are all herbivores, but they still had to fight many different carnivores. In the Jurassic Park franchise, we have seen a few herbivore attack scenes. We saw this in Jurassic Park The Lost World with the Stegosaurus and the Triceratops. They have no issue attacking. And some fans were saying due to the size of this dinosaur, it has to be the Spinosaurus. But that's another thing about the Therizinosaurus. This is why so many fans wanted to see this dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise for so long. This dinosaur is incredibly unique, and it's also massive. This dinosaur can stand over 20 feet in height, and it's well over 35 feet in length. And you also have to consider how long its claws are. Each one of them are 3 feet long, so they obviously can do a lot of damage. And in many ways in the Jurassic World series, dinosaurs like the Therizinosaurus and Dilophosaurus are very unique. Because dinosaur hybrids are no longer in the series, the Therizinosaurus and Dilophosaurus are almost replacements. They are not hybrids, but when you do compare them to other dinosaurs, their ability and designs are way different. So I think in the overall picture of this series, that is why they saved the Therizinosaurus and Dilophosaurus for the last film. There is no Scorpius Rex, Indominus Rex, or Indoraptor, but these two normal dinosaurs fit that very unique role. So if this really is a Therizinosaurus in this image, I do think it fits very well into Jurassic World Dominion. For all of you though, what do you think about this? What dinosaur do you think this is? And where exactly is this setting? Write all of your opinions on the Therizinosaurus down below, and if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.